What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have Baki Hanma from the anime Baki, which is a pretty good fighting anime. Um, if you like tournaments and martial arts and stuff like that, it's a pretty good one if you're into that kind of thing. So landscape page, use a pencil, hit pause if I go too fast. So we're up in the top half of our page, just above halfway just up here just need to leave enough room for his head and his hair and we're going to start with his right eyelid so yeah so middle point just up here in the top half come over a small little bit his nose will be like right bang in the middle of my page so let's go come up first diagonal and then it comes across fairly straight sort of eyes on Bucky. Pretty straight eyelids, not, not a big curve to it. Like so. And his eyelashes kind of stick out a little bit more on the end. So the bottom eyelid kind of comes back down on this side. Kind of across like this. So a little bit sticking out there just on the corner. <laughs> Like so. And then iris and pupil inside. So we just do kind of a semicircle, curving around, back up to there, like so. And then his pupil just inside, like so. And of course, you can color it in dark black. So then his eyelashes. So he's got like a, a small little line just down here. A real thin one. If you're using the pencil, you could get it thinner than than what I'm doing with the sharpie, but it's real thin down here. It just shows some eyelashes kind of coming off down here. Yeah, not 100% necessary, but that's just the style of the anime. That's the way his eyes are. So you can do it if you want or not. So then uh, top eyelid line comes across pretty straight as well like so and his eyebrows are under f his fringe so we can't really see it so we'll just jump over into the next eye so the good thing about Baki is uh, the eyes are in proportion so that means you can fit another eye in between so the distance from this part of his eye to the next one should be the same distance from this side of his eye to this side so the width of his eye you can fit an eye inside and then when you got that you go up again same sort of thing remember they don't have to be perfectly symmetrical it's a myth the eyes have to be exactly the same on both sides and So we go down the other side then, so don't like so a little bit sticks off here like the other side, and then we go under into there. And his iris and his pupil, same sort of thing. Curve it around, semicircle, back up into there, and a pupil black so some of his eyelid is covering his eye so the circle is kind of cut in half that's what you want to think of it like and then we'll give him some eyelashes now a lot of his this eye is covered with a big piece of fringe so we won't see much of this but we'll draw it in and then you can rub it out after or color over it depending on what you're doing like so, and then we'll give him his eyelid line. So just coming up, cross, real straight sort of thing like that. Maybe similar on that side. If you want, you can thicken up his top eyelid line just to make it stand out a bit more. Like 
like so. Okay, so his nose, right. So we have a kind of a, a curved line coming down here first, right? Just there in the middle of his face. And then his nose is done. Basically, uh, we can see the nostrils and the middle. So he's got like a pointy bump in the center. We'll do that first, just here. So it's kind of like the letter U, just there, like so. And then the nostrils curve out around. Unusual nose style for an anime. Curves out around like that, and the other side curves out around there as well. Like so. And then his mouth. So he's got so kind of the middle line for his mouth, right? So it's it's I it's like um a letter M or the handle of a bow and arrow just here. So it's gonna go. It's gonna start like underneath the edge of his eye just here. And it's gonna like curve up like there first. And then it will curve down for the middle and back up. And then back down on this side and kind of curve up at the end, just there. We'll give him a line just up here for where his top lip should be. Just that little line up there. And he has a freckle or like a mole just here spot on his face and then we'll just give him a line for his bottom lip just on the bottom here curving around like so and then his chin just down here pretty flat sort of square kind of chin then now you can check your proportions of the face so the nose is halfway between the eyes and the chin just here that's about the same distance from the chin to say the tip of his nose, from the tip of his nose to his pupil level, just there, same. Nose is the middle, and then the bottom lip is halfway between the nose and the chin. So from here to here is the same as from here to here. So once you get your proportions, we'll move up the side, like so. Jaw, just there, a little square kind of jaw. And then this side will go up this way as well. You wanna stop about mouth level, just along the level of the mouth and down from the edge of the eye. See that? Just about there. And because that's where you're gonna change direction and go up the other side. So you're gonna go up like this, to the side of his face. Like so. And you do pretty much the same thing up here. Except this one this one doesn't go up as high. You could go up as high as you want, but there's hair just coming across here. So I'm just gonna stop it there. It'll save me rubbing it out. I'll just stop it a bit lower. Just for his hair. So we might as well do that hair now. So we have kind of hair coming in here, a spike like this. A smaller one than here. And it comes up like so. That's so it's kind of like a sideburn. And there's sideburn here as well. So spike here. Like that. And then one here, up to there, back up. So that is what we got so far. And then, so his fringe coming all across his eyes. We'll draw that in and then we'll do his eyebrows. So, let's see, right, so we'll go in this way. Like so first. And then we have a bit of a spike coming down here, or a hairline. This touches another one, which comes down over his eye now. So we're going, don't be afraid to just like draw right over what you've drawn already. You can always rub these out or color over them if you're using a pencil, which I recommend. And then we have another spike 
coming down in here. Right there. Goes back up like so. And now we have a much bigger one that comes down this way. Comes across his nose to there. And then it'll spike back up. Like so. Then there's one under it that comes across the other way. So we're gonna curve that. Coming under here. And then just kind of comes across his nose. Back under to there. And like back up this side, like so. And then we have another one coming down across his eye there. And it goes back up. Like so. And so we have one more that comes down just beside, right over the edge of this eye. So it's gonna come down like right this way. It's a little bit lower maybe down there and it comes back up the other side like so and then join it to the sideburn just that way then it would actually come a bit further like that same on this side actually this one should go a bit further as well and it'll go over his ear uh, we'll do his eyebrows, so just in here, so just in this gap, you can see an eyebrow in there, comes down like so, and maybe you might be able to see like a bit of a point of it just there, and something similar on this side as well, so like should be here, comes up like so. And then on this side too. Okay, so the rest of his hair, we're going up, right up to the top of my page. So right up to like just a couple of spikes right up here. Okay, it's like the middle. So you're like, from his chin to his eyebrows, it's about the same, okay? Same distance. Maybe a little bit higher. Okay, and then we add some spikes coming all down the side of his head. So we're gonna go, we're just gonna go for it. Let's go. Like that. Remember, hair moves, so don't worry if yours doesn't exactly, the spikes don't match up with mine. They can be in different places. Don't worry about it. And do, 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 like so. So our hair grows down this way on Becky. Like so we're going down now towards his ear. This one down here. This one here. And then this one will come in to this line that we drew there. And then he has some hair that's beside his neck, so we'll do that after the neck. We'll do the other side now. So comes down like so. Spike it up, down, back into here, like so. So maybe a couple sticking out like that. And then we're gonna bring it back, we're gonna spike it sort of down and bring it back into this line just above the sideburn just here. Like so. So it looks like he's got like a weird 
cold cut right now. But he's got some hair that goes behind his neck, so that'll like connect it all up. We forgot his ears. So just here underneath his sideburn. Like that. The bottom lines up kind of with his nose, see? And then the other side, just here. Neckline, like that. Neckline on the other side. So real thick neck. And then trapezius, curved line comes down like so. Trapezius on the other side. Like that. We have two neck muscle lines coming down towards the center of his chest. So curving down this way from his jaw, like that. And then top of his chest muscles come, comes out from there. So, bumps up, and around. It was real far and actually goes further than you think. It goes out further than this trapezius. So a real big white chest. Like so. And then we could have some more neck muscle lines in here, curving up like that. Maybe an Adam's apple sort of line, just there. And then his shoulders, so real big again, real big. Coming out like so, around, real wide. Crazy strong, crazy muscly guy. He looks like he should be in a Dragon Ball anime, like so. So shoulders, and then, so we do chest, or we do the rest of his chest, and then we'll finish his arms. So rest of his chest comes down, in like that. Same on the other side. This and then this is going to curve up the center, right in that middle line, just here. Then you go back down the other way. Like that you know, you could have some like um, you know muscle lines going like that. Maybe something on the edge here as well, like so. That's optional, of course. And then his ribs, or you can't really see any bones on him, but his like oblique muscles, what are they called? Some of his abs, anyway. And then this side comes down as well, like so the rest of his torso and then we have the inside of his bicep and the outside of his tricep coming down this way so tricep and bicep it just goes off my page just down that way and then we just need to add a few more details sort of scars and muscle lines so some in his shoulder just here one comes across like that Another one comes down like to there. And then maybe a line just underneath, just there like that. And then a line on his tricep, on his bicep. And same thing over here. Curve it around there. Some muscle lines. You can have another one, maybe here as well, just to line things up. 
have another line here. That line coming down for his tricep. And his bicep. And abs. Right, so what can we see? What can we fit? Right, so we can see like his diaphragm. So it's like a curving line, like this kind of thing. And it goes down the other way as well. And then some ab muscles, right? So uh, you can't see much but there's like a line coming down there then a line like here down there and then the tops of ab muscles just like there there kind of coming down into there Can we see a line up the middle? We should. There isn't one in the picture, but I'm going to add one because there should be like a line right here. Uh, and then, so we forgot the hair behind his neck up here. I forgot it. Why do I say we? <laughs> so it curves out, spiking out like this. And then we do the same thing. Just there. Right, so then Bucky has scars all over his body. So we gotta do that. So like spiking down here. Spiking down there. There. Big one across his chest. Smaller one on his chest here. And some loads, so like some on his shoulder. There. Like so. And some in here. There, and some on his abs as well. been through some stuff. <laughs> and some over here. No, no, his face. Hmm. Okay. I think that's everything. How to draw Baki Hanma from Baki. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.